Hello and welcome to a PHP Basics tutorial on variables. Um, in this tutorial I'm just going to be discussing the basics of variables in PHP, how to define them, how to manipulate them basically on a page with functions or with constructs like the if statement and echo. Um, and yeah, basically a variable is a method of storing data, whether it's an integer or a string or an array or um, pretty much anything can be stored within a variable. Well, not quite anything, but um, the results of a function can be stored in a variable, all sorts of things. And um, then once you have define this variable it can be used throughout the page so you do not have to call it every single time that you would like to um, use the result of it or use the information that you have stored in it. If you've ever taken any algebra before I'm sure you have seen um, variables like x or y um, in math class and it's basically the same thing. Those variables represent a number, and these variables can represent strings, integers, or, yeah. Um, so, when you're calling a variable, you first need to uh, use the dollar sign. Um, that's shift and four on your keyboard. And then you use your variable name. So for purpose of example, I'm just going to call it variable. And then you have a single equal signs. Equal sign, sorry. So that's the de definition of a variable. And then obviously here, we're going to give it its value. So like I was saying before, you could have variable equals one. And that would be an integer of a variable. Um, the variable name would equal one. So I'm just going to come down here and I'm just going to echo variable and so what this is going to do if you don't know what echo is check out my PHP basics tutorial on echo but this is going to echo ver this variable this value right here to the user so if we bring this back up oops and you see we get one however since this variable is also an integer that means you can perform arithmetic operators on it so let's go variable plus variable and if we refresh you see we get two that's because whenever we type this on the page we get it um, replaced with the actual value of one so really what that is saying is echo one plus one, which would give you the same result. However, let's replace this as something that you would more likely use a variable for. So let's go 99 times 99 divided by 10. Okay. So this is going to store it in the variable. This is going to store itself in this variable. And then you can manipulate it throughout the page. So let's remove this line for a second. And if we refresh this page, we get the product of, or the, yeah, the sum of these two things, which is just this value inserted wherever the word variable comes up. So it's the same as saying that. Um, so using integers as variables is, um, less frequently used than people using strings and variables. So using a string is the same way as if you're using an integer. However, just like whenever you're using a string in PHP, it must be in either inverted or regular quotes. So I'm just going to throw in inverted quotes and I'm just going to say hello world. An exclamation mark. Make it fun. And then we're going to echo variable once more. and now instead of it being an integer it's just a string which is being output to the user so if we refresh we can see that we get hello world 
Um, so, this, like, if you're just defining variables that are going to be constant throughout the page, as we are here, they become slightly useless. I mean, not necessarily. Like, if this was a really long sentence or statement or something like that, and it's easier to call the variable multiple times. But variables become particularly useful when um, when they're being manipulated or changed throughout the page. Because then you're not having to, like, um, calculate the new thing or uh, redevelop whatever data you are at. So I'm going to go through a little process right here where we're going to manipulate this variable a number of times throughout the page. Um, and I hope that it will show slightly more the purpose of a variable, um, although this would this isn't a very um, practical example. There would be very few times that you would actually do something like this. However, let's get started. So we're going to have our variable equal to hello world, and we are going to have another variable called x. Sorry, just got to tab that out nicely. And we're going to have x equal to 1. Now, what we're going to do is first we'll use a loop. I have tutorials on loops if you don't understand what's going on here. But first I'm going to loop through while x is less than 10. Okay? We're going to echo variable and we're going to actually put a break onto the end of this line. So if you haven't seen my echo tutorial, check that out and you'll understand how I'm embedding this variable right here. But basically all that's doing is escaping these strings so that it reads it as variable and not as that. So there's a line break. And after we do that, our variable is going to equal um, variable and actually we're going to do it this way. Um, I have a tutorial on assignment operators. Check that out. What I'm going to do is a concatenation equals and I will explain what that means in just a second. Um, so we're going to loop in this while loop while well, x is greater or less than 10. We're going to echo this um, variable and then we are going to um, then we are going to concatenate x onto the end of this variable. And what that means is right now our variable is hello world. Right? When we have dot equals that says concatenation on of x. Well, x the first time we'll be loop around is 1. So that's going to add on a 1 to the end. So it will be hello world 1. Then the next time through, it will be hello world 2. And then hello world 3, etc, etc, etc. All this dot equals is saying is take this variable and add on this to the end. And then after that, we are going to increment x. Now, I'm realizing now that I probably should have used a f um, for loop, but it will give us the same output in the end. So let's refresh this. So we get hello world, hello world 1, hello world 1, 2, hello world 1, 2, 3, hello world 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., etc., all the way down to hello world 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, okay. I should have done or equal to. And then we get the 9. Um, so basically what this has done is every time it's gone through the loop, it's changed the variable slightly. Right? Just added a number onto the end. And this is um, a way 
to demonstrate how a variable from the top of the page, when it's defined, however you define it, it may be defined um, based on form input, which I have a tutorial on. If you don't understand what that is, you can check that out for um, a basic explanation. But however it's defined at the top of the page, throughout the entire page all the way down to the end, it will be manipulated. And then at the end, you will have whatever you need your output to be. And they're very useful for storing all sorts of things. Um, for instance, let's say you had a website and you wanted to greet your users based on their name. So you could be like echo, hello, and then we'll echo our variable, which is equal to right now Bob. And if we refresh, you now have hello Bob. However, if this was actually your site, you would have gotten that from um, my SQL database or something to that extent. And so it would be different for every person. So you can't have a constant on a page. You can't just say, hello, Bob, here, because it's different for every single one of your users. And so this variable allows you to have your dynamic page that um, PHP helps create. That's pretty much it for the basics of variables. Um, just remember when defining them, you're using a dollar sign and then the variable name. And the purpose of them is to store data that can be manipulated to really help you make your pages dynamic and to help you take full advantage of PHP's capabilities. Um, I hope you've learned something. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me or post them in the comment section. Uh, please check out my other videos and comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.